Hello, I've decided to share a little butchering with you today. Uh, this is some basic butchering techniques. Everybody should know this stuff. Uh, first thing is selecting the meat. Uh, I walked through the store and I saw about eight or ten of these and I'm like, wow, looks pretty good. And you got to go by what you see and the large muscle. Uh, I selected this one out of like ten other ones after looking at each piece. Uh, you want a nice marbling, a little bit of fat specks in here. You don't want a lot of uh, chunks of fat or silver skin. The butcher should have removed this for you, depending on the price you pay. Uh, you do want something like this. This is Angus, and this is USDA Choice. Uh, prime is even better. It's going to be very hard for you to find Prime, unless you're... Uh, you know, in a restaurant or something like that. But anyway, now there's a few problems with it. I'm going to show you uh, what those are as we move on. Uh, I'm not going to tell you where I got it. It doesn't matter. You can get this at your local butcher shop or supplier, or you could order it. Uh, this is three twenty-seven a pound. <clears throat> For this type of uh, inside round or uh, beef round sirloin, this goes by many different names top roast, top round. This is actually the large muscle of an inside round of beef. Uh, a steer has two of these. So this is a pretty special cut. This has the same flavor as uh, beef tenderloin or New York strip steak if you cook it properly. So I'm going to get into that later, but 327 a pound. That's fine. This is 36 bucks. 36.69 for this piece. But the problem is there's too much liquid in here, okay? Too much uh, blood and juice in here, so you've got to drain this over the sink, and that changes your price. It's not truly three twenty-seven a pound. Okay, and here's the same piece of meat after I've removed the packaging and some of the blood. Good idea to use a small towel like this. Pat all the blood off of there that you can. Uh, you don't want the blood; you just want the meat. Uh, it's a beautiful piece. It's a really nice muscle, very large. Not a lot of silver skin on there. Okay, I highly suggest if you don't own these, these are stainless steel hotel pans, that you get yourself at least one hotel pan. You can also call them chafing pans or whatever. We call them hotel pans. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is perfect for moving your meat, roasting your meat. We actually use these with racks lined up in them. We use these to make jerky. Okay, by the way, my cutting table is a piece of uh, three-quarter inch thick uh, poly top mounted to a stainless steel table. It's pretty nice. You can use this on your workbench. You can take it and store it. You buy the thicker ones and they don't bend on you, uh, three-quarters or one inch. You can get them at the sponsor. By the way, I'm using a couple kinds of gloves here today. These are disposable latex gloves. You can pick them up about anywhere. They got them there. And this is a braided stainless steel glove. I'm going to wear this over... Uh, my rubber glove just gives you an added level of uh, cut resistance and these babies do stop knives this knife is razor sharp by the way this is a German scimitar I'm using a German scimitar and a German boning knife today uh, these are the two knives so here we go here is the, the chunk of meat uh, you can see the the top is beautiful and perfect your butcher would normally slice this all up and sell it to you for butt steaks uh, I believe in cleaning and trimming it, so we're going to remove some of this silver skin uh, very quickly before we get started. Uh, you just go underneath like this and grab a little bit like that, and then you pull it towards yourself like this. Okay, so this trim right here uh, will end up going to uh, stock, beef stock, put it in soup, whatever you want to do. I just don't want it on my, uh, my dinner. Uh, this is going to be turned into butt steaks and cube steaks and roast beef and possibly jerky, uh, depending on where it ends up. But anyway, like this, you want to remove the silver skin with very, very little meat as possible. If you're worried about that meat, you can always get it later like this. That's fine for putting in stew, okay? All the scraps off to the side. And you do this and repeat until this is clean, the whole thing. I definitely want to remove this nasty uh, vein and muscle stuff on the inside here. 
This doesn't taste good, people. You don't want to eat this. And if your butcher's selling it to you, ha, he's the lucky one. Okay, all this stuff has to come out of there, okay? All right, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to continue cleaning. I'll be back. You also want to pay particular attention to these uh, chunks of fat. They often contain lymph nodes. It's like a like a scent gland or something like that, but uh, if there's some of these things in there, they definitely don't taste good. Uh, let's see. Now, this one looks pretty clean, pretty good, but still, I'm not eating that. How about you? As we're butchering, we're using the sharpening steel, especially on the tip of the knife, just like this. Okay? As you're going along, that's what you want to do. And then, of course, you just give a little wipe and remove that little bit of metal that's there. Okay? Knife's ready to go again. Okay, removing the last really nasty piece here. This is a big chunk of uh, silver skin that's running down the middle of this, this round. Here we go, just like this. Okay, there we go. That is basically inedible. It's like leather, okay? Uh, so, now here you go. You can see what I've done. It's pretty much clean. There's a little bit left right here, but you don't want to waste any meat, so... Just get your knife under there very, very carefully. Just remove a little bit like this. Okay. There we go. So, this is a cleaned top round or inside round. I'm going to take a little more off right up here. And then I'm going to start with the large knife cutting this into steaks and moving on from there. Okay, I want to show you the usable piece of the inside round is right here. Uh, these are scraps for stock and similar, a uh, little more meat on them here. And this is good for stew, this little bit here. So now we're going to continue to break the muscles down. But my point, what I wanted to show you is this is actually about 450 a pound. By the time you remove the package, remove the blood, clean it, it gets a little more expensive. Still a great deal. I'll be back. Okay, using the large knife scimitar, or butcher knife, I'm going to continue to break this down. There's a few other tricks I could show you today, but I'm not going to. I'm going to skip over them, and we're going to just move along here. When you go buy a steak in the store, and you buy something like a butt steak, this is what you're buying. Uh, it's whatever the butcher decides to cut up and package and sell you. But the, uh, the butt steak comes in many different... Uh, forms and this would be one of them right here so you want to make sure you're cutting uh, across the grain like this uh, this first piece here will end up being like a cube steak I'm going to take and butterfly it like this and we're gonna run it through a cuber a little later okay uh, this next piece will be a regular steak probably about uh, seven or eight ounces just like this. Same thing here. Another steak. It's about eight ounces. Okay, another one. Okay, eight ounce steak. This one's a little large. Same thing here. I'll make one steak right here. Okay, and one smaller one will be a cube steak. Okay. Uh, this large uh, piece of the muscle here is actually going to be turned into uh, a stew. So for stew, same deal. I'm going to cut it into steaks like this. Okay, very quickly. About one inch thick, roughly. Like this. And then these uh, will be end up being cubed. Okay? It's nice to have a scimitar and a cutting table because you can do very uh, even long slices with uh, minimal effort so you can see that right there perfect nice slice and you can repeat it pretty quickly okay I'm about finished butchering here for now you can see what I've got these are nice steaks I would call these butt steaks I'm going to uh, tenderize some of them I'm going to marinate some of them and they're going to get eaten at a later date this is a bunch of jerky it's going to get pounded out watch the other videos you'll see and this right here is the stew meat. Uh, stew meat, scraps, 
there you go. So you can see what I got out of this chunk of meat. I would just estimate and say there's uh, about 15 meals, 15 servings here approximately. The stew alone with carrots, onions, celery is good for uh, about six, six servings for sure. A lot of steaks here, a lot of jerky. Thanks for watching. I'll be back. Seven. Uh, they're in stock at your sponsor and the balance in the feel is amazing this knife by the way all the globals it's a pure stainless steel the little dots keep your hand from slipping and it's full of sand it's balanced full of sand so that every single knife right about there this is the this is the heavy version but right about there you can balance the knife on your finger Every single knife in this series is like that. So there's the three knives. Hope you liked the review. Visit the sponsor. Watch the other videos. And uh, have a beautiful day.